What would you do in this situation? After staying up all night with a friend, let's call them Aaron, you, Aaron, and another friend, Betty, all go out for ice cream. After you get served, Aaron says that they were watching the cashier and they seem to become sad after a moment. Aaron thinks that maybe you upset them and that you should go back and apologize. Well, then Betty comes in and says that they didn't think the cashier was sad. They actually thought the cashier looked happy. So you don't need to apologize. Now you, you didn't really see the cashier's face for very long, just a moment. You couldn't tell if they were happy or sad. So who should you trust, Aaron or Becky? Well, recently a combined study of 12 different experiments found that when people are deprived of sleep, they're substantially worse at recognizing both happy and sad faces. And not only that, but when deprived of sleep, people take a lot longer to identify the emotions that people are displaying on their faces. Now, what's particularly exciting about this particular study is that they were able to show that there was a pretty low risk of bias in these studies, which means we can be more confident that the results are true. So if you ask science, you should trust Betty 